So if you do get sick, how will you know whether you have COVID-19 or the flu? Fox 13's Brian Schnee has been looking into that and joins us live from Intermountain Medical Center in Murray. Brian. Last flu season, there were more than 15,000 influenza cases in the state of Utah. Now, taking a look at this graph from the Utah Department of Health, you can see that the spike really began in November, even into December. So we're still a few weeks away. Nonetheless, doctors are really concerned about the upcoming flu season amid the coronavirus pandemic. Severe influenza is what ends up in our facilities and in our hospitals. Um, you know, if this trend continues, um, we're going to need all of those beds for COVID-19 patients. A record number of COVID-19 cases in Utah on Thursday has medical professionals concerned for what's to come. Flu season. It's fever with a respiratory complaint. That's it. So it could be fever and a cough, fever and shortness of breath. That's COVID-19. Doctors say the coronavirus and influenza have striking similarities. They're indistinguishable at this point. We don't have um, the ability just based on history and a patient's symptoms and physical exam to be able to distinguish between COVID-19 and influenza. A recent study performed in Japan compares SARS-CoV-2 or coronavirus to IAV or influenza A on human skin. The study concluded coronavirus can stay active on your skin for up to nine hours nearly eight times longer than influenza A, which stayed active for less than two hours. Influenza travels on droplet particles, just like SARS-CoV-2, or you know, the virus that causes COVID-19. And so the same exact principles apply. Also in that study, the effectiveness of hand sanitizer, which deactivated both coronavirus and influenza in 15 seconds when tested. Doctors stress the same public health measures apply for both COVID and the flu. And it's not too early to get your flu shot. Get vaccinated for influenza. That's easy to do. It's safe. Um, and when I say it's effective, it's effective in reducing severe influenza. According to Utah Department of Health, last flu season, there were 1,300 hospitalizations here in the state of Utah. Now, doctors are really standing by and behind that flu vaccine, not because it'll 100% keep you immune to the flu, but it could really prevent those severe symptoms, which could ultimately keep you out of the hospital. We're live in Murray tonight. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. Uh, Brian, good to know. Thank you. If you would like to get a flu shot, Smith's Food and Drug is hosting a drive through clinic. It will take place this Saturday. They'll be vaccinated vaccinating people from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Maverick Center parking lot. You are asked to register and also make an appointment ahead of time. And we do have a link to the registration on our website. Find it at fox13now.com.